Hello, buddies. Hello, 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 and welcome. So good to see you all. This is going to be awesome. We're gonna start a new game, sort of, because we're gonna be playing the Barnhold's Lot DLC tonight. So Barnhold's Lot is a, basically an extra an extra scenario, an extra campaign that they added to the game as a DLC. Um, what this does is it puts you in the in the Van Holds uh, scenario, the, the mission that he has to take his side uh, of the campaign. And you can play this side story and then plug it into your main campaign so that you have the consequences that you uh, had appear in this campaign appear in your main campaign when you meet Barnhold. Mr. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and then uh, Vorn uh, will be will be in here and we're going to be able to play with him as well. I, I think that's how it, how it goes. So for now, we need to... Uh, that's Vorn back there. And that is a mimic. <laughs> okay. We're going to have mimics. That is so cool. Evening, Alucard. So what we're going to do is we're going to go on hard in this one. Uh, I feel I feel uh, that I have sufficient experience with the game now, uh, even though it has been a while since I played. Hey, Candy DK, good to see you. And uh, yeah, we're going to do that. And hopefully you guys will, will help me choose which character we're going to use. Uh, we're gonna go yeah auto level up off next so we're gonna create a new character so this character is gonna be the character that goes through this campaign to help Varn uh, establish his domain and we can either select to oh so we can import oh actually okay I didn't I didn't know we could do that import your character from the main save oh, okay so it is gonna be the one our archer we're gonna use oh so I can either use her or okay let's see yeah no we we get to use another character maybe oh maybe our own character shows up sometime during the mission okay cool good evening Mordring. good to see you buddy so pathfinder had to come online while i finish work for the evening oh very good very happy about that thank you so uh, i actually downloaded some extra some extra portraits for this playthrough but i think first before we do the portrait, we're going to need to look at what class we're going to play. Awesome. All right, let's keep it at those three and then and then we'll head further in after that. So now you can click on the stream where it says kineticist, rogue or monk and everyone can vote on the stream. And then it will it will it, it that just works a lot better than the other monk 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 oh people people want monk <laughs> and can it assist i promise you mordring i pro uh i'm sorry uh, mighty totems i promise you that i will get my guide finished and put up on YouTube as soon as possible. That is going to be one of my priorities to get that done uh, for you guys. Anyone, anyone know the state of the game is bug wise? Uh, it was very bad at launch Pathfinder. I didn't have too many bugs myself, but I progressed slowly in the campaign. Now the later game bugs that were in the game have been fixed a lot of them but they create new bugs so there are some bugs but it will 
it will be uh, a lot more stable than before. Cool. All right, we're going to go with monks. So, next question. Which monk? Not a witch monk, but what, what kind of monk? Uh, wow, that actually looks pretty badass. Normal monk? Uh, we could go scaled fish. A fish? <laughs> Oops. Freudian slip. Uh, scaled fish. Uh, no, I mean scaled fist, of course. So, yeah, we could go with, with that one. Uh, steeped in tradition that traces their origins to the warrior monks who trained under the tutelage of draconic masters. Scaled fish. I said it again. Scaled fists ensue passive introspection in favor of unshakable confidence. Scaled fists learn to combine brutal intimidation with the brazen ferocity of an ancient berm that devastated their foes. That is pretty cool. Scaled fish. It has to be them now, right? It could be Sensei, sensei too. Um, let's actually go scaled. Yeah, exactly. That is, this is a good start. Uh, <laughs> class. Scaled. Or Sensei. Or... A traditional monk. Monk monk. Hey, one red run. Welcome to the stream, buddy. Good to see you. <laughs> Imagine, people. Hours of scaled fish slips. We gotta have this. Oh, my God. So, what class are you? Scaled fish. Scaled fish. So, you guys vote. Yeah, yeah, okay. I mean, I, I have read up on the scaled fish. <laughs> I'm, I promise I'm not doing this on purpose. The scaled fist, and they are pretty badass. Uh, what they... They are pretty uh, tanky, from what I get. They get a bonus feat at first, second, and every fourth level. Wow. Okay. That is pretty cool. They do as well, though. Yeah, okay. Just looks weird here. Okay. Um, but they do get different ones. Dragon Ferocity. Okay, cool. Yes! <laughs> Nunchucks are now two fish on a rope. <laughs> Mighty Totem. <laughs> that is good. Yeah, we're gonna go with the scaled fish. Fist. Fishy. Fishy scaly man. Evasion. Uh, we get key strike magic at third level. Treated as magic. We get a key power. I actually pl I play a uh, key archer in our Pathfinder campaign. He is nuts. I wish they put them that one in, in this game. Uh, or someone, please make a mod for it. They have Flurry of Blows, they have Fast Movement, they have Stunning Fist Fatigue, Purity of Body, Purity of Body, Draconic Heritage. So this must be the special for them. Okay. Once this choice is made, it cannot be changed. The Scaled fi Fist can expend one point from her key pool as a swift action to imbue her natural attacks with the energy specific to this dragon. 1d6 points of damage of the chosen type equal to... Oh, for a number of rounds. At 12 level, three key points to make a breath weapon. That is pretty cool. Draconic metal. Third level, gain plus two bonus on all fear, paralysis, and sleep effects. And a key pool, as normal. Okay. Hey, Nuclear Cookie. Good to see you, buddy. Good to see you. So awesome with all you people. Um, number of points in the key pool is half his monk level plus wisdom. Yeah, so we want, we want, let's go with the scale fist and it, I don't know what, do, do they get anything special? Like if I look at the monk, okay, so the, yeah, it's basically the, uh, 
Special key usage there. Okay. Okay. Heritage. That is because we chose that a tiefling. We should go half orc, shouldn't we? Like the orc ferocity is pretty awesome. Plus two at creation the bonus to that choice. Okay. I'd love to go half orc. Just because they're big and brutish. Like Hulk. Yeah, half Hulk. Mordring is is there. <laughs> yeah, new memes. Oh man. Oh. Oh, that looks funny. Funny face. We're gonna go with that. Here that that was very Hulk. That is very, very much Hulk. We're gonna go with like that, that one, yeah. Beard? Of course we need beards. Who doesn't like a beard? Yeah, that's very monkish. Orc, a la court. Yeah, and we need to be green. And then we pick, we pick like a, a green dragon or something like that. That'd be nice. Oh, that is very, very cool. Fish smash. <laughs> oh, fish. Oh, I know what this guy is going to be called. Oh, yeah. Constitution? Why? What? Seriously? Recommended ability. It doesn't show wisdom as a recommended ability. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Okay. Uh, we don't need charisma for anything. Intelligence is nice to have. Constitution is need to have because we're in melee and we suck. Strength, uh, good to have, I guess. Uh, dexterity and wisdom. The wisdom will give us a uh, bonus to uh, armor class. As well. Yeah, he doesn't need to be clever. Stunning fist sicken. Well, let me see. Is this is this good? Do we need more strength? Don't we gain our? Don't we gain the? Uh... Wisdom modifier as damage bonus, or am I wrong against that? What? Oh! Oh, because the scaled fist fish guy is charisma based. Oh! Because, because, what? Oh, really? That is weird. Um, okay. So, Charisma. The class, the class is the Scaled Fist. Charisma Monk. Yeah. I'm like, what? Now it makes sense, though. That, that the... That goes away. But, didn't it say... Yeah, so my, my key pool is still wisdom based. That's kind of yucky. Plus wisdom modifier. Oh, wow. Okay. So basically, I need. Strength, Dexterity, Constitution, and Wisdom. Uh, char Charisma. Yeah, that is not good. We're gonna go 13. And if I have crappy, I need to, I need to get my con down. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> secret wisdom. Yeah. Just, oh my gosh. Okay, that is not an easy class to make. Let me, I'm just gonna find, I'm just gonna find something here. Uh, fist, monk, pathfinder. Mm, there. That's not it. Can I get... I need some stats for this. Yeah, we need another portrait for the, this guy. Uh, focus strength and go dragon style, they say. Dex only gives extra armor class and for scale fist it is secondary since charisma also gives armor class. Okay, with the hammer punched, okay, wow. Yeah, okay, so we need, we need more, we need, definitely need the strength. So 15 and then we can up it to 16. And then we can go gain some belts or something. This is the main, this is the main for this campaign, yeah. So the portrait, let's, uh, let's check out what we have. So, that's the weird. That's not good. That's funny. Hey, you. That is pretty cool, but not what we are looking for. These are really awesome. These are really awesome. Wow, okay. That is very divine. Very scary. ASMR type things. Elves. We need more half oak. I mean, there's like 285 in this pack. It's on Nexus. It's called the, it's called the uh, Heroes of the Stolen Lands. It's pretty amazing. Strength, charisma, monk. Then, yeah, that should be fun. That, <laughs> that should be a challenge. Um, we're gonna, we're gonna make it. We're gonna make it. We need to find a good one. These are really good. Wow. And, and very fitting for the Pathfinder franchise as well. This is really well done. Okay. Seems like they are in a bit of... Now you have the dwarves coming. Oh, that is... That is a slayer. That is definitely a slayer. Awesome. And a rune guard thing. And a... Uh, <laughs> dwarf with is that a mini book of grudges he has there he'll try to convince you but upon flailia you will just bash he will bash your skull in with a fish yes he is a fishmonger that is his uh background i do have the uh eldritch akana installed as well so we are gonna get some uh, traits maybe we can just find some fun stuff there there are so many oh that was cool come on give us some orcs whoa Wow, man. Cool. Oh! <laughs> that is a nice barbarian. Conan! And a, a Viking warrior thing. Nice. Man, there's, there's something here for everyone. Wow, that is a big orc. That actually looks like him. Except for the weapon, but I can live with that. That is pretty cool. Let's go with that. The fishmonger. Yes. Okay. And we're going to go into uh, mobility. 
And we're going to go into uh, lore, maybe athletics. Yeah, athletics and perception. Racial bonus. Oh, yeah, we need the racial bonus. We're going to put that in, in strength. So we get plus five just from these stats, and we can boost those with, with magic items as well. So it should be okay. Nah, it's, it, I, it, we see the hilt, but it's fine. I can live with that. I still have two points. Uh, oh, so I can bring that to 15. I can actually bring that to 14. That is good, because then we have a key pool of three. At least. Weapon focus? No. Crushing blow? You make a stunning fist attempt as a full round action. If successful, instead of stunning your target, you reduce the target's AC by an amount equal to your wisdom modifier. That is not okay. Dodge. I want survivability here. Oh, wait, we can actually get that in the other one as well. Pummeling style. Oh, yeah, there's, there's the style... Base attack bonus of 6? I don't have that. Why can I pick that? When you use a full attack or flurry of blows to make multiple attacks against a single opponent with unarmed strikes, the total damage from all hits before applying damage reduction. That's like the... the uh, sh shot. What's it called? I can't remember. Where it puts all the, the damage in one go. That is really good. But I thought it said plus six. Fine. I can live with that. That is really good. We could weapon weapon focus as well, but we're leveling up so fast. A dragon style. Oh, we need mobility three. When using this style, you gain a plus two bonus on saving throws against sleep effects, paralysis effects, and stunning fish stunning effects. Further, stunning fish. <laughs> the fish one red run. <laughs> <laughs> that is awesome. You can add 1.5 times your strength bonus on the damage roll for your first unarmed strike on a given round. That is really good. The crane style is really good as well because you gain additional dodge bonus. Why can I pick these? Oh, because I don't need to... Okay, yeah, I. now I get it. I don't need to fulfill... Forwards! No, no. All this waiting for my wounds pile on. Yeah, None that is good. Shall escape. I am superior. Yeah, that is so perfect. That is perfect. And he is going to be called Fish. <laughs> Just Fish. He was born on the uh, 21st of uh, Gorsan. And we need to be lawful good or lawful neutral or lawful evil. What do you guys think? Do, do we make the scaled fish lawful evil? <laughs> do we make him lawful evil? Is, is he an evil character? Is that what we're going to do? I don't know. Not a lot of people actually play evil. Evil fish. Evil fish. We're gonna go evil fish. Fish are evil. Indeed. I mean, they crap in the sea. That is evil. Evil fish. Spells not working like that. Exactly. Spells not working like that. Okay, cool. Dragon style and pummeling style and we're gonna... Oh, you can only have one style? No. Oh, that is gonna freaking hurt. Really good. Oh. My god. Okay, it's a higher level. Oh my god, this is fun. This is cool. Mobility and that and that. Oh, so we get to level up, guys. Look at this. We are rocking it. Let's go with the dodge for survivability. Oh my lord, how, how 
I did not know this, so it's a higher level character in the Von Holes lot. Cool. Uh, combat mobility. No. Combat reflexes. Crane style. No. Crushing blow. That was that one. Deflect arrows. Once per round, when you would be hit by a ranged weapon, you may deflect it. I love that one. What is this? Oh, there we pick our dragon. War dragon. Uh, we could go power attack. I guess power attack would actually stack with the bonuses. Wouldn't it? Increase by half your, if you're making an attack with a two-handed weapon, one-handed weapon using two hands, or a primary natural weapon that adds one to one and a half times your strength modifier and damage rolls. Yeah, I'm pretty sure power attack is gonna work. Oh, yeah, yeah. And then we go, we go uh, green dragon, right? Acid, acidic. Or, I mean, evil? A black dragon could be as well. We are evil, so. Yeah, those who dwell within a black dragon's reach live in fear. And they look like fish. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, black dragon is better. Cool. Key strike. Oh my... How... What... How high of a level are we going to be? Oh! Are we going to be the... A toxic fish? <laughs> are we going to be the same level as... The character that... I imported it with? Jeez. This is so cool. Five to nine. Oh! So it is... It is based off the save game. Cool, thank you, no one good. No one god. Sorry, no one good. No one god. <clears throat> Sometimes reading is hard. Keep our scorching... <laughs> what? I get scorching ray? Or keep our sudden speed? No. Scorching ray? Dude? The monk may fire one ray plus additional ray for every four levels beyond the third. Or box skin. Nine at the end of the DLC. Oh, cool. So you start at level five. Ray is, is a fish. That is a fish. We're going to go with the ray. Scorching ray fish. Okay. And we are going to go perception. Maybe some uh, persuasion. Because we do have a high charisma. In, with this one. Ooh. Uh, cleave? We could go with cleave. You can make a single attack with a full base attack bonus against a foe within reach. If you hit, you deal damage. Normally, I can make an additional attack. Mm. Combat reflexes? Nah. Crushing blow, deceitful. Hmm. Sunder armor. Dislodge an armor worn by your opponent. Loses its bonus. Wow. Yeah, Hermit Hermitix from uh, Asterix. He always ran around with a fish. That's right. <laughs> cool. Let's take the cleave. Sure, we're gonna find a way to use that. Oh, and then we have uh, Strihel Strike. The monk spins around, confounding his foe. If this attack's hit, the monk gains plus four dodge bonus against any attack made by the target. Hammer blow. If the, uh, the monk links his hands together, swinging both arms like a club, dealing tremendous damage. That is what we like. If the attack hit, the monk rolls his unarmed damage twice, adding both rolls together before applying strength and other modifiers. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's gonna be hammer blow. 
Leg sleep. Leg sleep. Jeez, I can speak tonight. The monk attempts to sweep his foe's legs, knocking the opponent down. If the attack hits, the monk can make a free trip attack. Trip attempt against the target of his strike. That is pretty cool. <laughs> oh my god. I'm gonna go with hammer blow. Because that, that fits into the entire... Rage. This is cool. New start of a new campaign of a part of the game that we've never been in. Well, one time. But it was very scarce. Oh, you're gonna have to create three mercenaries as well? Wow, okay. Well, that's cool. Van holds lot. There are some stories that resemble the last fleeting beam of sunlight as the sun sets in the fog. It gleams and disappears, leaving perhaps a bright trace in someone's memory. One such story of a town called Varnhold. And I, an author still unknown to you, shall convey it in every truthful and exciting detail. Why, thank you. We're gonna do the mercenaries fast. Lords and ladies! Oh, see? Today, we are here to honor three brave people who have done the impossible. They've tamed the stolen lands. That, that's Baron us, Hannes the others. Lannis, the new master of Glenabon, Captain Mager Varn, the conqueror of Dunsward, and finally, the tamer of the Shrike Hills, who put an end to the atrocities of the Stag Lord's bandits. Step forward. I'm a fish monk. I On can deal with it. Of the people of the free city Any of Restov. I confer upon you this noble title. Rise, your grace. Yay. Congrats. Step forward. There's fish there, guys. We need the fish. On behalf of the people of the free <laughs> city of Restov, I confer upon you this noble title. Rise, your grace. Thank you, Lady Aldori, distinguished guests. It is a great honor for me. It is with the greatest joy that I announce the founding of my barony in Dunsward. It shall be called Van Hold. Hold. Not vain at all. This happy event is not mine Same. to claim alone. The stolen lands would never have yielded to me if it weren't for the valor of my friends and companions. Now I would like to introduce my right hand, a hero without whose help I wouldn't be standing here now. Please, step forward. That is I, the fish. The fork. Fish orc. Look, it's fish. <laughs> Wait, why? Why? Oh, bug report. No. Uh, yeah, the hide UI doesn't work. Okay, cool. Oh, that is so good. I love it. I love it. Look at the speed on this dude. It's faster than a fish out of water. I won't be halted. No. Okay. Uh, so we... What is my quest, by the way? During the celebration, Baron Varn's companion can spend their time talking to the guests of the reception and trying to grasp the intricacies to create, I don't know, of local politics and then off they go. I, I don't have any interest in politics. Only fish. Okay, so pummeling style. You can only have one style though, active at a time. So having more styles, well, Dragon style seems to be the better of these. But if we meet someone that has damage reduction, for instance, this would be better to put on, but we'll just leave it there. The power attack works. Uh, the cleaving. Uh, 
Okay, the cleaving is no longer active. Okay, there we go. Okay, so he can cleave all the time. Extra attack from the key power we can put at number two. And that one there. What is that? Draconic Fury. Oh, yeah. One key point. And two key points for the that one. And the Stunning Fist. Get that away. Stunning Fist. Fatigue. Yeah. I am definitely going to fight defensively. And we're going to use the Hammer Blow. Oh, look at him go. Look at the fish. That is cool. All right. Let's go. Laurentis. Oh, as the guests linger and entertain themselves, one hero of the occasion stands aside, Mega Vaughn, the leader of Mon Von Ling Host, you direct your direct commander, and henceforth the undistributed Baron of Vonhold. He's busying himself with one of his fa favorite pastimes. He's trying very hard not to yell, but he's ferociously arguing about something with the party's co-founder, a wizard named Seraphal Laurentis, Varn's old oldest companion and his most uncompromising opponent. Megavarn's close friend and bit of rival, an experienced wizard and the co-founder of the famous Varnling host mercenary group. But Varn, my dear friend, would you please be so kind as to explain what devil take you you've been doing? I finance this venture with my own personal funds, not to mention all the effort and time I've invested. And pray tell, what was it all for? For you to assemble the fruits of our labors and pitch the whole lot down the privy? <laughs> fruits? I've been busy guarding these fruits from Brevoy's incessant fruit moss. But I'm a baron now. We finally have our own land. For the first time in our lives, we're independent. No one can tell us what to do. And you want to destroy everything we've achieved by inviting spies into our house? Of course, why not? Please, do come in, eavesdrop, sniff around, take whatever you please. Cephal is generous. He <laughs> said, make yourself at home. Okay. Oh, Asmodeus, please give me the patience to withstand this nonsense, or take my soul already. Vaughn, what are you saying? What is this independence you speak of? We depend on Restov for literally everything. From the inflow of settlers to the food to feed them. I like Jamandi no more than you do. But it will take us years to free ourselves from her influence. Right now we must bow to our patron. Brag about a title we received from her very hands. 